Hello everyone. In this short video, I'll walk through the new EasyCube user interface, how it works and how it connects to the mobile phone, how you can connect to the network drive in your home. So you get your EasyCube out of the box, connect it to your uh, display uh, TV using the HDMI and power it up using the power cord that comes with the EasyCube. You will also get this remote control that you can use to navigate as well as your existing TV remote control should work with it if it's got CEC enabled. So let's go ahead and choose a language. So I speak English, so I'll go ahead and choose English. I go next. Here I can go ahead and connect it to my Wi-Fi network at home. Since I am using uh, directly to the Ethernet in the back, so I'll skip that step and I'll go ahead and move to the next where I have to pair device. So here this QR code actually shows you how to connect to your uh, phone with the EasyQ. So all you have to do is go to the App Store and download the EasySync app from the App Store. You accept it and it will start installing it. Once the app is installed, you click open, follow the few three steps to pair your EasyCube with your device. So you say, yes, I want to start pairing. Once you say that, it'll ask you to scan the QR code. You just reach out to the TV and scan the QR code that shows on your screen. So moment you scan the QR code, it will start checking all the photos, videos, everything that you have in your mobile phone and start backing it up onto the EasyCube. So let's go ahead and this app also works as the remote control. So let's go ahead and go next. So now we can add all the photos, videos, music, whatever you might have on uh, your network attached storage or any server. You just click on the thing you want to add. Choose browse. Go to the bottom, choose add network locations. So in my house, I have it on the FTP server. So I'll choose the FTP server from the menu. I'll add the server address. Then you add the username for your server here. You can use the keyboard on your app to actually type and the password. Once that's done, press OK to dismiss this and then press OK and here You can choose the server that you added. So I added this server. I'll go ahead and choose it. In this, I'll choose the file, uh, the, the folder for where I kept all my content. So in this case, I have it in my server. And from there, I'll choose movies. And I'll say, okay. I'll keep it as movies. Press okay. Here you need to choose the type of the content you're adding. So in my case, I added movies. So I'll keep it as movies. I'll press OK. It'll ask if you want to change the content, press yes. And it'll start uh, downloading, the, the building your library from the internet. You can do the same thing for your music. Now that you added the server already, simply pick the server. And from here, you go to the folder where you have all your stuff so in my case it's in here and I'll choose the music from this and I'll say okay and I'll press okay here and say yes and that's it let's just and again uh, just to complete the video let's add the TV shows in the same way I go here and browse to my folder where all my TV shows are on my network and add the TV shows as well. And here, 
we choose it the type TV database press OK and here we are so now that we've done that we go ahead and click next this is the last step and all the setup is complete so now that we go home page it's actually loading all the content from my servers and let's look at all the photos that we added so these are the photos that we added they're already organized by locations and everything so this is the album that I have if I want to look at all the photos in this album in a beautiful slideshow I just press enter and it will start showing all the photos on the server on the easy cube uh, actually in a nice slideshow same thing happens to your videos you can go have a look at all the videos you have here and these are all the videos you have so I have only one video which is this one so if I want I can just play it right here so that will, that will get me to the my videos that I saved from my phone right so now let's look at what happens to the movies and everything that we loaded so these are all the movies I have on my server it has already loaded everything from the server and I can actually have a look at uh, these movies on my mobile app as well so if I go to the movies in here so I'll see all the movies that I have over here which is on my easy cube so let's say if I want to watch a movie I can go right here and if I press this button it'll start playing it on the easy cube so let's stop that one and same thing happens to all other content that I have so let's say if I have more than one mobile phones in my house all the photos and videos from there will be actually get into this so I can look at all the videos that or photos that have already been synced and let's see if, what is my TV shows these are all the TV shows I have so I can look at how many seasons I have and everything and, and what episodes I have on this so uh, this is uh, how you basically get your easy cube up and running in a very short time so if you have all the music there you can also look at all your music by artists and albums and whatnot everything will be there so these are all the stuff about Alanis Morissette and I have access to all of that music on my mobile phone as well so this is all my music right here so for example Alanis Morissette if I want to play this music onto the easy cube I just play this and uh, start with this button start playing so that was loud uh, now uh, if uh, when your music is playing actually it comes in a very beautiful slideshow library of the artist that it's playing right now and you can have access to that here or you can actually you can actually also use the remote control on your phone this is the remote control so you can go to the next song you can stop it I can stop the music pause the music if you're looking for things like YouTube etc you can go to the apps here in the video add-ons you can find all the apps you can hold on the remote control center button on your remote here and bring up uh, the context menu so you can add your favorite apps into the favorites so I can add to the favorite so YouTube is my favorite so I go to music add-ons and let's say my radio is my favorite one of the favorites I like to always use so I'll hold on the press button and I'll add it to the favorites now I can access all of these uh, add-ons right from here so if I go here I can just go in radio and it will launch the app and I can look at I can listen to all the music that I want from this radio station so 
So this is the radial. I stopped it already. So now now uh, if there are movies in your library, for example, many of the movies my three-year-old like to watch a lot. So I can keep those movies in my favorites. For example, just hold on the center button and add it to the favorite. I will have access to this movie right from the home menu. I go to favorites and look at the movie and I can just play it right from here. So this is a very small demo. In the next video, I'll show you how you can transfer all the photos, videos, music, movies, whatever you might have on your computers directly onto the EasyCube uh, by mapping EasyCube hard drive as a network drive. Uh, you can drag and drop all the content. It becomes kind of external wireless hard drive of your computer. So you can free up a lot of space on your phones and computers. And you can access them in your bedroom, in your living room, even in your bathroom if you like to. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this little demo. And uh, leave your comment if you have any. Thank you very much.